Greetings, in this video I'm going to add resample drum sounds to the end of my song. Check it out. So I just completed editing the C section of my song and I want to go into the last part of the song, which is really the B section, but I want to make it slightly different than what it was earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and come here and go ahead and go to my B part here. This is B part 4-2. So very fast, just to remind you. All right, so previously when this came in, I had some variations to the B part. I wanna keep the drums right here nice and solid and steady. And then I wanna go into the next part. Okay, so I wanna go into the B part here. And this is what this part sounds like. So it has that forward drive, but I want to basically tear up the drums. I basically want it to go just butt wild because I kept it kind of moderate and mild throughout the song. But in the end part here, I want to basically tear it up like a drummer going wild at the end of a rock song or something. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find my track here. This is track seven. Okay, this is the track that has, you know, my drum sounds and it also has all these. all the other different resampled sounds that I did. Okay, so I'm going to go to my grid editor. Here's my grid editor. And this is what I have is basically ch -ch -ch, very chopped, simple, nothing crazy going on. Okay, it's just three sounds. So what I wanna do is make these three sounds into about 10 sounds or eight sounds. So I'm going to solo the drums. Okay, so now I have the drum part going on here, nice and strong. So, um, basically, I'm just going to figure out what I want to do. So, I'm just going to start drawing in notes. That's all off, but it's, at least it's kind of uh, got some variation. Let me just nudge these around until I find some good notes here. <laughs> Sounds interesting, if nothing else. Do something like that but I got an idea so I'm gonna go into my menu here my program edit so I have it on polyphony 16 which is fine but I basically want to make one big choke group so I want to go to my LFO modulation and create one giant mute group mute group 3 on all of these pads because some of these pads roll off and, you know, I'm not trying to have so many, so many sounds going on at once here. All right, so I have that all linked up there, but I also want to put it on at least my snare drum right there. All right, let's try it out.
So for whatever reason, I just want to use a sound that I haven't used yet. So I used all these bass drums. Except for this one right here. What is that, pad nine? Maybe throw pad nine in there instead of this one. Okay, I'm using a, some other different sounds in here. Starting to sound a little interesting. Something like that sounds all right. I just need to go and like adjust the levels on all the different sounds and make it kind of sound even, but I think it's sounding pretty good. All right, the song's coming along nicely. I like the ending here. I think I'm gonna go with it for now. All right, go ahead and check out the next video. If you don't know, this video is a part of a series of videos that I'm doing, getting started quick and dirty with the MPC Live, where I make a song from beginning to end and show you every step of the way. My name's Matthew. Push the like button below, continue to create, and I'll catch you in the next video.